Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a basic strength training full body routine that you can do if you have some basic dumbbells or anything that you can lift at home. And remember, it doesn't matter how much weight you lift, it's um, about you improving each time. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just start where you are, start with what you can do, how many reps you can do, how much weight you can do. But next time you do this, this workout, or even if you do this workout three times this week and, and you do the same thing next week, that is totally fine to do the same thing as long as you are increasing the volume. So increasing the volume by increasing the reps, increasing the weight, or increasing the amount of rounds that you do. So for, I like to start with, from head to toe. So we work our shoulders, our biceps, our triceps, our upper back, our chest, um, our legs, so our quads and our hamstrings, and then you could also do calves. Then you could also do some crunch, basic crunches or any sort of abs that you like if you want, or you can choose to do abs on a totally separate day. The important thing is that you're giving those muscles a rest in between. So since this is a full body, then I would wait a day or maybe do some cardio if I wanted, uh, or just rest a day and then do this strength training workout again so every other day. So three times a week is ideal if you're doing full double body workouts. After you do full body and get really good at just um, getting better at weight training and getting used to it, then you can break into doing more body part days. So working um, the biceps and the back on one day and then the chest and, and the tries on another day and then all everything legs on one day and then shoulders and abs on the next day and then you can save one day for cardio or you can just skip the cardio altogether. Weight training is really more beneficial. Um, so body part training is where you do three or four um, movements for each of those muscles instead of just one like we're going to do on a full body like today. You can do two, two movements for each muscle group but today I'm just going to show you one basic um, exercise for each muscle group and you could do three rounds of that and you could do that every other day but like I said as long as you are increasing that each time you do the workout or each week make sure you're increasing the volume in some way and that's how your body composition is going to start to change so first you need to do a really good a good warm-up you need to warm up those muscles so whether you do just a quick walk around the block um cardio like full cardio is best to do after strength training so if you want to include cardio you can always do cardio after strength training if you prefer to do it before that's okay but it's more beneficial to do it after because you want to give all your strength all your energy to the weight training because that is more beneficial for you so do what you like um there are no rules you need to do what you do and what you can do consistently but it is just better if you're gonna do cardio to do steady state cardio. So like 20, 30 minutes of just a nice brisk walk or a jog or a bike ride or whatever you like to do. Or if you don't like cardio that much or you still wanna include cardio to burn those calories, then you can do high intense cardio. So like sprints or like jumping jacks, giving it your all for 20 seconds and then 20 seconds rest. Or you can do jump rope. So high intense cardio, just shorten that time. So do 10 minutes, but it's really intense and um, you're burning a lot of calories in that time. Or if you just hate cardio, then just skip cardio altogether, focus on the weight training and getting good at that. Um, it all depends on your goals and what you want to do. But always make sure you do a good warm up. So whether it's just a brisk walk or you can even just do kind of some of the movements to get those muscles warmed up. You can do some arm circles. Uh, forward and backward, you can walk in place. So just get your body nice and warm up. You can do some jumping jacks, you can do some air squats, but you always wanna make sure you warm up your body before you start weight training because you don't want any injuries. And then after you weight train, then you'll do really good stretching of each of those muscle groups. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with shoulders and you can start with a good rep range is about 10, but it depends on how much weight you're using. So if you're using lighter weights and you're like, I can do way more than 10, then do 12 or 14. But remember, you're gonna want to progressively increase that every time you do the workout or every week, you're gonna want to progressively overload and increase that. So I'm gonna start with 10. 
and just do a basic shoulder press. So make sure you do 10 of each of these. I'm just gonna do a couple to show you. And then after each exercise, you go straight into the next thing. After all the exercises, then you can rest. So this is like a circuit workout. And then we go straight into a bicep curl. So with bicep curls, make sure you're keeping your elbows in close, going all the way down, all the way up. Really focus on filling it in the biceps. If you're rocking to get the weight up, then the weight's too heavy. So do more reps with lighter weight. But really keep the elbows in close, working those biceps. Right after biceps, you can go into triceps. There's lots of different exercises you can do for these muscle groups. I'm just showing you the ones that I like or just the basic ones. So tricep overhead extension. You can do two dumbbells for this or just a heavier dumbbell or keep it the same. Just really focus in on those triceps. Okay, so do 10 of each of those. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our chest exercise and you can do push-ups if you want to just do push-ups on your knees, on your toes, against the wall, whatever level you're at. Um, or you can do something with dumbbells, so a chest press, a dumbbell chest press. Make sure you're really focusing on filling this in the chest, but you will fill it in other parts of your arm too. So just a dumbbell chest press all the way up, all the way down, and do 10 of those. Okay, so then we're gonna work our upper back, and I like to do a bent over dumbbell row. So feet are about hip width apart, and flatten your back as good as you can. Keep your head neutral, in line with your spine. You don't want your neck up like this. You want it in line with your spine. And your elbows are gonna stay in close to your body. Raise it up about 90 degree angle, and back down. And you wanna, you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together. And do 10 of those. And you always wanna make sure you're breathing when you're, at, you're doing these movements. Breathe out on exertion. So after your back, then we're gonna go into working our legs. So I like to do a front squat, a dumbbell front squat. You can even just do air squats, or you can do chair squats where you're sitting back into a chair. If you wanna feel this more in your quads, you can even put something like books or something under your heels to put the pressure on your quads. So just a good squat, keep your chest up, butt back. When you are squatting, you can keep your feet a little bit more than hip width apart or wider if you like. Keep your butt back, your chest up. Make sure your knees do not go forward past your toes. And make sure you're breathing out on exertion. Focus on that form and focus on feeling this in your quads. Okay, so after our quads, we wanna work our hamstrings. So I like to do just a basic Romanian deadlift. Feet are about hip width apart. And keep the weight close to your legs. You're gonna bend forward with your back straight. Make sure your back is flat and not arched. And for Romanian deadlift, you just go slightly past your knees. Keep your head neutral, in line with your spine. If you wanna feel this a little more, you can keep your legs a little straighter. Just make sure you feel this in the back of your legs or your butt. And pull all the way up and squeeze that booty so you feel that in the back of your legs. You can even do a full deadlift with dumbbells. So kind of like you would with a barbell, but you just keep the dumbbells to your side and go all the way down. Just make sure your butt is sitting back. All the way down and all the way up. So you can include both of those types of deadlifts or just one or the other, whatever you choose to do. Okay, so deadlift. So then you could even just do some basic calf raises, holding some dumbbells at your sides. You could even do this on some stairs uh, with your heels over the edge. And these seem pretty easy, but you'll start to fill them or you can do more reps of calf raises than all the other exercises. Then you could choose to do some basic crunches, some planks on your elbows or on your hands, whatever your level is, Russian twists. Um, you can do abs every day that you do this full body workout or you can do abs 
on a totally separate separate day. It's up to you. So we worked our shoulders, our biceps, our triceps, our back, our chest, our quads, our hamstrings, our calves, and then you can do some abs. But throughout all these exercises, you really want to focus on tightening your core and um, holding that in tight. And you're working your core throughout all these, these exercises too. So the focus is doing, getting comfortable with the movements, focusing on your form. But every time you do the workout or every week, if you do the workout three times a week, every week you want to progressively overload the muscle. Increase reps, increase weight, increase the rounds that you do. I would start with three rounds, so 10 reps for each movement. Um, rest in between each round for about a minute and do three total rounds every day. And I would do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever days work for you. Just make sure you give it a rest in between. Then the next week, if I did 10 reps this week, next week maybe I would do 12 reps. And then the next week I would do 14. And then the next week I would do 16 of each of those movements. So I'm progressively overloading the muscle. And that's how your muscle is gonna start to change. That's how it's gonna start to strengthen. So then after that, I can change up the exercises that I do. I can do a different shoulder exercise and I can continue on with the same kind of um, schedule. If I like full body workouts, then I would continue on, but I might change up the movements that I do for each muscle group just to give it a change, but still focusing on progressive overload. Or I would go into body part trainings to where I work different muscle groups on different days so I can do strength training on more days because you're giving more time for the rest in between. Um, and then you're doing three or four movements for each of those muscle groups instead of just one. So you're really digging deep, working those muscles really good. So I really love body part training for that. Okay, and then after your full body workout, um, make sure you're stretching those muscles. Strength training is, is awesome, but remember focus in on improving each time. So you cannot forget about nutrition. Nutrition is also the most important thing. So along with weight training and nutrition, your body composition will really start to change. But nutrition is usually the hardest part for most people. And sometimes it depends on the day. But right now, nutrition is the hardest part for me. So I know if I focus in on my nutrition a lot, along with the weight training, my body will start to change faster. And I'll reach my goals faster. So I hope we can all just reach our goals and work hard. And um, I hope this helped.